What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. It is Monday, it's almost 8pm right now, and as you can see, it's my birthday. And so, first of all, happy birthday to me. <laughs> For all the birthday wishes that I have received today, I have just have not managed to respond to all of them. I do apologise, but I'm very grateful for the birthday wishes guys so thank you very much and uh, for today i obviously it's quite late i've had a day it's obviously you know halloween as well so we've been out with the kids it's one of my partner's friends birthdays as well today so we went to their house for a little party for the kids and whatnot which was absolutely fantastic and yeah i've had family around and all sorts of other stuff so it's just been a bit of a day where i haven't been able to get onto the account much however i have built eight 80 plus red gold player packs and the team of the week pack um oh i'm so tempted to buy that Hundred thousand coins though and uh yeah what we're gonna do today guys is just open these packs get our team together for our first qualifying game of champs that feck here Ooh, 85 rated could be a profitable pack that let's compare his price yes it is 8.4k just for him uh but yeah um i thought i was on trade all then yeah, so today is going to be the last day of like, quote unquote, no content, limited content or whatever, right? From tomorrow onwards, guys, the grind is coming. I've been talking to Footspy uh, very briefly, who's a big trader. And uh, we're going to work together to get some trading going. You know, teach me the ways of trading in FIFA 23. Not that I can't trade. I can trade. You know, it takes a little bit of time and effort to just understand certain patterns and certain certain market behaviors to be able to just trade for good profits that's going to be gulashi to start things off you don't mind that because i need some fodder i want to do falcao his sbc expires tomorrow at 6 p.m i want to make sure we complete that but yeah um i'm going to start trading i'm going to start uh, what i effectively want to do as i'm sure everyone does is make millions of coins on the road to glory and just start having fun with different teams utilize different players do every sbc and turn it into a pay to win but not by using fifa points instead by using trading now obviously there's a walkout come on brazil cdm there's obviously a lot of uh, amazing traders out there that make millions of coins and i'm going to become one of them i'm going to become the guy that makes all the coins and has a team that you look at and go, there's no way you did this for people points. And I'm going to be like, yeah, I did this for people points. And that's, that's going to be, that's at least the projection for the next few weeks until probably League SBCs come out. And then all of that goes out the window and I'll just sit there grinding League SBCs. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? League SBCs are brilliant. Now, these 80 plus packs in general aren't super good. Uh, we did get a walkout and an 85 out of them. So that's quite nice. A tradable Regulon as a, as a duplicate too. And the inform that we're going to get, the 85 plus team of the week, hopefully it's good enough to actually go into the team and be part of our game today. And it is just going to be the one game today. Again, apologies. I don't have much time. It's already almost 8 p.m. And of course, this video will need to be edited and whatnot as well. So today is that, that, that day. But I was just talking on Twitter yesterday about Road to Glories. And again, how, you know, I think Road, that's a walkout. That's a big one. Got a rumor? Oh, that's a big one! Informed on a rumor! Let's go! I know it's only a goalkeeper and like, you know, who cares about goalkeepers? But it's only 64. I'm still happy with that. The, the pack's like 35k or something. So to get a 65k SB, uh, card there, and just in general, a good card is fantastic. Um, he can go straight into the team. And from my experience of playing against Donnarumma, he is just one of the best goalkeepers. Now, Artur Stegen is tradable, which is great. But for me to use Donnarumma, I have to go and put the PSG boys that I've got back into the team. Um, obviously, we don't have like the best, best guys, but we have got Hakimi and Kimpembe. If we put just Kim Pembe in there, we lose one chem over David Alaba. I don't really want to use him over David Alaba, though. He gets one chem point as a goalkeeper. I'm actually just content with that. We're going to use him there. And let's get into the game. 
and uh, I'll carry on with what I was going to say. All right, guys, as we go into the game, as I was going to say, um, I, I, I tweeted yesterday about how Road to Glories just aren't like, <laughs> listen, this isn't one of those videos where I'm like, I hate Road to Glories. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. This is one of those videos where it's like Road to Glories aren't fun anymore because, and it is genuinely very simple. Um, it's too easy to get, like, and I, I mean way too easy to get the 99% and then very difficult to get the 100%. And it's by design from EA. They've made it like that on purpose. They want people to have access to almost everything without having access to everything so that when they come and see, like, a, a brand new Pele hit the market or something like that, it's like, oh, damn, I really want that Pele. Oh, wait, what? He's like 10 billion coins? I couldn't possibly... And so I'll have to spend some fee points. And that's what they want, right? And so that's fine, right? The, the game has effectively changed. And I don't necessarily want to end the road to glory, right? I love doing a road to glory. I just think what I want, and this is what I was talking about on Twitter, right? And, and I've had a few people DM me, Footspy, one of them, and a, and a couple other guys DM me about like, ways that we could change the road to glory. But what I think what I think I want to do on the road to glory is quite offside trapping. Jesus. What I think I want to do is either. Oh, he's just gone offside. It was onside at the start there. Wait, he was onside. Is either. Create the RTG. By the way, guys, if people don't move their goalkeepers now, if you just aim to the court, like the far corner of the box and then put full power on it, you basically win the header every time. I can't believe he missed that. I was so nonchalantly cocksure of myself there. Um, that, but there you go. That is, that is how it works. So, so, oh, um, yeah. So, um, the, this, this really isn't a like road to glories are done or whatever. It's, it's about like changing your perspective, right? There it is. It's gone over him again. What the hell am I seeing? Um, so either. We're going to change our road to glory to have unlimited coins by grinding, trading, menus, bronze packs, whatever is efficient and effective for us. Being able to buy and build anything and just have fun with different teams. When a new promo comes out, just try those new promo cards. And if we lose hundreds of thousands of coins on them, who cares? Uh, you know, have fun with icons that we've never used before, heroes that we've never used before. And that will take some time to, like, get together. Nobody can start trading and then a day later have millions and millions of coins. I mean, well, actually, maybe like some of the guys can, but not me, right? And and I think in general, it takes a little bit of prep work and a little bit of build up and a little bit of like understanding certain parts of the market and so on and so forth, right? So I don't think, I don't expect it to be the sort of thing that overnight I'm like, hey guys, I had 74,000 coins yesterday and now I've got 740 million coins. No. But that is definitely a part of what we can do as an option. The other option is not having a road to glory at all. Um, and this this is one of the options that's kind of like more... Oh, do I really want to do that on a, an account and a channel that I've built up over the last six years, specifically for a road to glory? But the other option is we don't have a road to glory at all. And so we have an account where we just buy fever points or not even necessarily buy fever points, but even then, you know, still trade and whatnot and um, enjoy the game. But if I want to put some fever points on, that's fine, right? But bear with me because I know I know, I know, know the thought of a lot of you guys that have been around for a long time. It's like, oh, here he goes again. It's not that. I, prom I promise you it's not that, right? But that wouldn't account for much of the content. What that would account for... Damn, I'm, I'm not like focusing on the build-up play enough, so I'm unable to just get in behind on those last few uh, passes here. Um, what that would account for is maybe like two or three videos a week where it's like, all right, guys, we built a brand new team to take into Foot Champs. Here is that team. Let's see what we can do, right? Um, then, with the other spare time, and I was talking to uh, Josh about this today. Oh, I've got to be doing better there. With the other spare time, with the other four or five videos per week op opportunity, start a brand new Road to Glory, but actually have an end goal of the Road to Glory, and once it's met, it's the end. For example, one of the things that was proposed to me that I really like the idea of is a no transfer market RTG. So no matter what, 
you can't use a transfer market. And in essence, in in like the or, or like you can use it to sell things, you just can't use it to buy things, right? And in essence, that sounds quite boring because effectively in my mind, it's like, okay, cool, no transfer market, but ultimately what will end up happening is it will be bronze pack method op sell everything get loads and loads and loads of coins complete every sbc grind league sbcs when they eventually arrive and uh you know have everything boring right so what about if there's a goal a a target and an achievement to uh to work towards and what that might be it for example is we're not allowed to use the transfer market and then the idea is the road to, oh, oh posh boy um the road to glory ends well then there's no way save that the road to glory ends when we hit either or and both um a oh he's oh he's got double lucky it, it ends when we like it's like okay the idea is to get rank three in foot champs and elite division in rivals or potentially like division one in rivals and so once that's achieved, once the uh, the glory has been achieved, that's it. That's the end of the series, right? And I like the idea of that a lot. And I just cannot break this guy down. I like, I'm going to have to hit a Traveller shot, aren't I? I like the idea of that a lot because what it does is once you start offering yourself an end goal, right? Going on at it. Once you start offering yourself an end goal, everything becomes so much more important so one of the road to glories could be first owner road to glory and again the objective is to hit rank three in foot champs and hit division one in rivals we could do a no transfer market road to glory we could do a, a quite literal like 100 goal rtg pick whatever promo has come out and we have to score 100 goals with a promo player in rivals and once we've achieved that road to glory is over and just, you know, like the old 100 and out series. And we, we could do a road to glory where it's like, look, you're only allowed to use a team for three games. Then you have to sell that whole team. You're never allowed to use a, those versions of those players again. That might take some monitoring, some understanding of, oh, will we use this guy? We're we not. Who knows? Right. But that could be the case. We could have a road to glory where we start with a starter pack team. And for every win, we're allowed to upgrade the, the car type. So we start with all the bronze players. Every time we get a win, we can upgrade one bronze to a rare bronze, a rare bronze to a rare silver, all the way until we get to a recent promo card and the road to glory ends when we've got a team full of promo cards. There are so many options of things we could do. Okay, it's self-inflicted requirements and 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 um like things to do, which I think in general you shouldn't have to do in a video game as grand as FIFA, right? I think you should be out. He's going to be offside, isn't he? I think you should be able to do that by yourself. I, th I th well, sorry, I beg your pardon. I think the game should offer enough and should cater enough to all player types to give you those things to do anyway. And then on a main account, which may still be a free to play account, but just different. But on a main account, what we can do is experience fun things, still play champs, still play rivals, play a bit of co op, things like that, on other things. And as I say, I, I, it, this isn't like it has been in the past where I've been like completely, is this guy just not even playing? He's going to get that ball as well. Where we've been completely disenchanted with FIFA as the franchise and just not really like fully engaged. Is this guy going to kick the ball out of play and quit? It only feels like that. Um, this, this is more of a... I want to continue doing a road to glory, but like, and, and we've known this for years. It just hasn't actually been quote unquote mentioned or whatever, but road to glories are in essence just too easy. He's well offside now because when I press through ball there, road to glory is just too easy. And to get to the glory, it requires very little effort, very little skill. And let, uh, well, the traditional glory, which in old video games, in old Road to Glories and things, used to be actually, um, the glory used to be getting to Division 1. Once you hit Division 1 and won Division 1, it was like, all right, guys, that was amazing. That video done. And, you know, back in those days when coins were scarce, contracts were scarce, it was hard to come by. Like, you'd be like banking on like a, a 78 rated Daniel Sturridge to do most of the work for you. And it was just thoroughly enjoyable. 
And I want to bring that whole... I want, what I want, I suppose, is the thought of, if I don't show up today, I'm going to miss out. Rather than, if I don't show up for three months, I won't miss anything. Because that's where we at, are at right now, right? The, the right now is very much, if I didn't show up for the next three months on this game... I'm sorry, what on earth? How has Vinicius Jr. like fallen away from that there? Um, but yes, it's very much like if I don't show up for the next three months on this game and then show up again after three months, within a day or so, I will be caught back up with where the general everybody is. I might have missed out on like an SBC player that I might have loved. Or I might have missed out on something else that might have been real cool. But nothing that's going to make me think, damn, I really missed out. And that's, I suppose... How's that not? I was going to say. And, and that's, I suppose, what I'm missing. I'm missing that feeling of like, I have to get on the RTG today because I don't want to not do this. And I, I used to like, because I, like, even bronze packs, like yesterday. Wait, did my subs not? What? Yesterday, um, EA released new icon SBCs and an SBC. And today as well, they've released the um, spooky marquee matchups or the spooky matchups or whatever, right? And with those spooky matchups, bronze players and silver players have skyrocketed. Normally, I'll be on that like anything. And I would be spending hours and hours and hours just bronze packing. Right? I'll be sitting there like, man, I have to get these bronze packs in. Go on to Jong at last. I have to get these bronze packs in. There is too much to be made. We are at risk of not making too much. This time around, I'm literally like, I just I can't be bothered. Because all that's going to happen is I'm going to get loads of coins from Bronze Pack Method. It will allow me and enable me to complete like an SBC or three. And they, those will be players that won't really, that, that are already going to be side grades. Yeah, in October, I know. And that's going to be it. And it's like, hmm, do I really want to waste my time doing that? Or do I want to do something that I find genuinely productive in, in real life more or something like that? And for those of you that know or, or care, like, I've been getting into, like, real football, quote-unquote, like, loads. Like, I've been following it to a degree I didn't know you could because of um, a fantasy football app called SoRare. Now, I'm not going to explain SoRare to you right now. Maybe uh, maybe somewhere down the line I will. But it's just not appropriate for this video. And uh, it's effectively, like, FPL, but with NFTs and cryptocurrency. And so, obviously, a lot of people are, like, super scared of cryptocurrency, and rightly so, because there's a lot of bad actors and, and bad projects and stuff out there. But so rare is one of those I think is a good project and has absolutely given me a, a lease of life on football that I never knew I had before. And so I think I, I, I basically like I'm enjoying just watching more football and in and and living a real football life, I suppose. Like, you know, I've never been invested in all my life. I've never been invested more in a New York City versus Philadelphia Union game than I was yesterday because on so rare. I have two players. I have Alex Callens, who's a defender for New York City, and Kai Wagner, who is also a defender, but for Philadelphia Union. And they are in these lineups. And like, imagine fantasy football where you build a lineup. And imagine if an FPL, if, if you ever came in the top 10%, you would get like another player, right? Not the opportunity to um, switch someone out or anything you would just get another player so you'd like have extra budget so you'd be able to have like another sub it would almost be unfair on fpl but ma imagine that imagine you could sell it as well that that's like what so rare is so i'm sitting there you know one o'clock in the morning on uh on sunday night watching the philadelphia union play uh, play uh, new york city cfc and it was just amazing and i, I would have thought of nothing more about fifa i, don't, I didn't sit there and think man can't wait to get on some bronze packs tonight i was sitting there being like damn i'm loving engaging in football and so i've definitely thought about introducing a so rare slash fifa crossover but again because of the landscape of what so rare is with regards to cryptocurrency and with regards to um you know nfts and the volatility that comes with that and the scarcity that like like the people are scared when it comes to that and it rightfully so because a lot of people have lost a lot of money in the crypto world and in the online gaming oh, sorry the online nft world and stuff 
lots of people have lost a lot and and there is very very good reason to be skeptical trust me i've been skeptical about these projects myself i know exactly what you're thinking so for me to introduce so rare into a road to glory style piece of content uh maybe just isn't right for right now maybe it will be in the future who knows um but that's where i'm at with this like this like the, the last three months of fifa when fifa 22 was winding down i spent an abnormal amount of time on so rare watching real football and things like that and i thought why would i go back on fifa when this is just so much better it gives me that football fix gives me that trading fix gives me that uh road to glory style fix because you could do road to glory style things on there it just gives me a lot that i just don't get from fifa and i love that um now as we come towards the end of the game here this guy's probably gonna score a goal no he's not what a boring game right this guy has an absolutely amazing team and he just decided to play so defensive the whole game like genuinely what a boring game so i apologize for the gameplay i must have had about 70 percent possession look who he had sterling which will be the uh ones to watch a bamiang that might be the special version you don't know because it just says the lowest card type there no matter what it is rafinia I wouldn't I would have expected to be a special version. Same with Odegaard, same with Valverde, same with Kessier. Cancelo, Alaba special version, Kunde, Walker, and Courtois. And this guy had 35% of the ball, zero shots, 60. What was that? 82 passes, 38 tackles, and only 10 1. Eight interceptions, three saves. That is mad. And how I only scored one goal from that game look at where my shots are from this is one of my biggest problems with fever that's why i said to you guys at half time i've got to take some more travellers because i'm getting to the six yard box i've had five shots from inside the six yard box and haven't scored from them it's just mad but anyway that is going to be the end of the video so thank you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like rate and comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already man so uh before we go I'm gathering that you heard nothing through that because I'm looking at it there and I can I can hear now that there's nothing there. Which means, like, basically, I, I think I said it the other day. I'm on an old PC right now. My PC went bust. I thought it was a motherboard. It wasn't. I think it's a CPU. I need to get a new CPU for it. So I'm on an old PC and it keeps causing these weird audio bugs and visual bugs and it's making a big issue. So you would have heard no music through the gameplay, no audio through the gameplay or anything there. So that's pretty bad. So Kauza will hopefully just put some light music under this to make it comfortable on your ears because the storytelling was what this was about anyway. Who cares about the fever, right? Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.